Happy Friday the 13th, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Della Mack, and this is your KWHS News. In Counseling Center news, juniors interested in attending CSU Fort Collins after graduation, their admissions teams will be here at 11 a.m. next Friday, April 20th, in the lower comments. To attend this visit, you must be passing your fourth hour class. Stop by the Counseling Center to sign up. The U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will be here on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. They will be presenting information on life as a cadet, as well as how to navigate the admissions process. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors interested or even slightly curious about attending the academy. Bring your parents and join them for the presentation. They will have recent academy grads available to answer any questions you may have. Coming up in May, the reps from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona will be here on May 3rd to share their information. Seniors, we just got in this information yesterday. Cabs and gowns will be here on April 24th during lunch in the auditorium. You must have a picture ID to pick up your order. Also, if you do not pick up your order, order for announcements, check with Mrs. Abeda. She'll take care of you. Two more announcements for seniors. First, please get all of your college acceptance letters, scholarships, grants, and other award letters you have received even if you are not accepting them. This is in preparation for Senior Awards Night. Second, seniors, it is critical for you to clear any conditions and fees you owe before graduation so you can receive your diploma. See the business office to take care of those fees. This is important for all other students too. Check on Infinite Campus to determine if you are on conditions and get those fees paid before the end of the year. And now we're heading to the cafeteria to check in with Miss Beth. Happy Friday everybody. I hope you're all happy that testing is just about over. Uh, today we're having mandarin chicken, one of your faves. Come on down. And then on Monday a cheeseburger. See you then. Bye-bye. Thanks Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, you need to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. If you owe money, you should clear this too before graduation or final exam. Congratulations to all the students who tested this week. Thanks to Mrs. Houchins, the Counseling Center staff, and Mrs. HK for all the hard work for prepping materials, seating arrangements, and for ensuring students had everything we needed. Special thanks to all the proctors and especially the custodial staff who made the necessary adjustments for the testing site. Juniors, we have one more test next week. CMAS only impacts you on Tuesday. Check the seating charts to find out where you will be testing. Glads, if you love reading and want to grow your personal library, check out the books in the library on the free book cart. They have a variety of selections available. See Miss HK for details. My name is Ben Lay and my first power ticket goes to Miss Murphy. I chose this power ticket for Miss Murphy because she's a chill teacher and she helps us whenever we need help. My name is Deja. My reverse power ticket goes to Miss Jarvis. She is an amazing teacher to hang out with and learn with. She likes to demonstrate courage and she's just really fun to hang out with even if our class talks a lot. So yeah. Seth Ryan and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Jen Wan. Thank you for, for helping me with every week. Thank you for helping us me on food service and helping me find a book. Hi, my name is James Myers. I'm giving this reverse power ticket to Miss June because she is always ready to come help students when we call and need it. She also makes us laugh when we need it before a stressful concert. We'll be back after the Gladiator Sports Update with prom and other events happening this week. But first, here's Danny Robinson with some sporting news. Happy Friday, Glads. I'm Daniel Robinson with your Gladiator Sports Update. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. The annual dodgeball tournament starts on Monday. Teams will play during lunch in the small gym with the top two teams squaring off at the championship on Friday at the Prom Assembly. Come check it out. The Powder Puff game is scheduled next week on Wednesday, April 18th. Stop by room 103 to buy your barbecue tickets for the tailgate that starts at 4 p.m. behind CA Foster Stadium. $3 will get you a hot dog, chips, and a drink. Kona Ice will also be here with snow cones. The game starts at 5 p.m. The Warrior Games that were supposed to happen today have been postponed. Stay tuned for a new date or a cancellation. Ladies Volleyball Open Gyms are happening every Wednesday in Bowers Gym from 315 to 415 until May. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. And now here's Doc with our health tip of the week. Hey 
guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. This week we're going to talk about mental health. So focusing on self-esteem and social media. How do those go together? Well, lots of times our self-esteem, how we think and feel about ourselves, can be influenced by the things other people say and do on social media, especially if it's directed to us. So we want to pay extra close attention whenever we're giving other people power over our own emotions. So if someone is doing or saying something on social media that you don't like, you don't have to look at it. You don't have to respond to it. You can block or delete that person and that's okay. It's good to take care of your own self-esteem and don't worry about what other people are thinking about you. Self-esteem is important because it helps us be better people. It helps us to face challenges as well as to believe in ourselves so that we can accomplish the things that we need to do in life. So focus on yourself and be good, positive people on social media. Thanks, Doc. We appreciate your help on boosting our self-esteem. Ladies interested in cheer tryouts, those will be happening on April 24th through the 26th in the small gym from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Pick up a tryout packet in the front office. Hey, Glads, the Ultimate Frisbee team has another doubleheader on Saturday at El Pomar. They play at 10 a.m. against Palmer and at noon against Air Academy. The team could really use a cheering section. Why not come out and help them get their groove back? Glads, on Wednesday, we had a small celebration for four more athletes who signed their letters of intent to play sports in college. This is a huge accomplishment that requires hard work, dedication, and support from friends, family, and teachers. We'd like to offer our congratulations to Jaquarius Grant, who will run track for Colorado Mesa, Trey Pierre, who will play basketball at CSU Pueblo, and Isaac Gillette and John Underwood, who will take their football skills to Mick Ferrison College in Kansas. We'd also like to congratulate Sharice Fairley, who was not part of the celebration, but who will continue her basketball career at Otero Junior College. We expect to hear great accomplishments from you all. Our ladies tennis team shook St. Mary's this week with a huge win of 7-0. The ladies took the momentum against the Purple School yesterday and added another W to their record. The boys swim team jumped back in the pool yesterday and made some good splashes. The boys are at Cheyenne Mountain today and tomorrow for a tournament. We'll have results on Monday. In baseball news, the boys in blue lost a Tuesday afternoon game to TCA, but they are back on the diamond this afternoon against Woodland Park at 4 p.m. on Big Blue. The Gladiator track team is traveling to the Mitchell Invite this week. In soccer news, our ladies played Mitchell yesterday afternoon and kicked in another W into their books. And finally, it's time to start planning your outfits for Spirit Week and Celebration of Prom. Here's the lineup. Monday's Miracle Day. Tuesday is Twin Day. Wednesday is Fashion Disaster Day. Thursday is Dress to Impress Day. Friday is Color Wars Day. Freshmen, your color is black. Sophomores, your color is gray. Juniors, your color is white. And seniors, your color is blue. Teachers, please wear your staff shirt from this year. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this weekend. I'm Daniel Robinson, and I'm back to you, Moose and Dylan. Thanks, Daniel. Glads. April is nearly halfway over and final exams are about a month away. NHS students are holding tutoring sessions in the library during advisory on Thursdays until final exams. If you need help with a class or studying for a test, pick up a pass from the library on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory. They will have computers available for these sessions. Juniors and seniors, the masquerade prom is a week away on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 to midnight at the Doubletree Walled Arena and you only have three more days to buy tickets. Avoid the mad rush on Tuesday and get your tickets today. Tickets are $50 per person and you cannot buy the tickets at the door. See Ms. Grandiziel in the business office now. Prom outside guest forms are due today at 3 p.m. So get those to ensure your guests can attend the prom. Remember, there are a few simple rules for masks at prom. First, all masks must be pre-approved. So check with me. So check in with Mrs. Molino in room 166 or Mrs. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. Second, at the prom, you can wear your mask in the ballroom area, but when you are in the general hotel area, including at check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. And finally, your mask must be removable and you cannot wear full face masks. Ladies, there's still time to select a dress from Becca's closet. Make your appointment in the library with Miss HK and remember, the dress is yours to keep. And the last note about prom is the prom candidate. Not all the nominees have accepted their nominations yet, so stay tuned on Monday and we'll have the finalists for prom nominees. The library would like to let us know about some housekeeping notes for the end of the year. The last day you can check out materials is today, and you will need to return these items by April 26th. For all students, your last day to check out materials is April 26th, and you must return them no later than May 10th. Finally, the annual high school artist showcase will be taking place 
on May 2nd at the UMB Bank in town. The reception will be from 5.30 to 7.30. Come check out your peers' outstanding artwork. That's all for our news today. I'm Moose Santos. I'm Dylan Mack, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.